Hey guys, welcome to Gardening Upbeat and I hope you are doing very well. Today we are going to see how to grow a beautiful prayer plant. Calathea and prayer plant are two different plants that really troubled me the most. I failed many times, tried many different potting soil mix and finally I came to know about how to make prayer plants grow well. If you follow me, I really don't think that you are going to get any issues at all. Alright, let's get started. Here is a prayer plant that I collected from nursery. Like I said, I managed to kill many prayer plants before this, which is really bad. Anyway, let's try once again. The most important thing is to use a very good potting soil mix and in most cases, prayer plants die because of bad soil mix. Here I am taking 5 different components in equal part. First one is normal garden soil, second coco peat, third perlite and fourth component is small pieces of coconut husk. Instead of this, you can also use lekka, which is easily available on Amazon. The last component is vermicompost. Please note that the soil should be able to retain moisture, but it should drain out extremely well. For the pot, selected one 6 inch wider and 6 inch deeper pot. Many also say that it's okay to use much cello pot for prayer plant. But that is actually not true and very soon you would come to know why I said this. Alright, repotting done. Next, watering it well. After that, I would keep the plant only under indirect but bright light. Let's take a look at the updates. So guys, this is the result after 4 months. As you can see, the plant is growing quite well. It's also flowering, which is really good. Though I can see brown edges on few leaves, I believe it's okay considering the way plant is growing. Prayer plant starts to grow well from spring onwards and in winter growth stops. So, in case you are wondering about reporting, it would be better to do that at the end of February. Please also take a look at the bottom of the pot. As you can see, roots are coming out through the drainage holes. Means, the plant is producing roots quite well. This is why I said that cello pot is not the ideal one. In a cello pot, they won't be able to produce enough roots. Let's take a look at one more update. This is after 5 months. This footage was recorded in the month of July and it was about to get dark. That's why you can see that the leaves are a bit folding inwards. Here is a view from the night. Now let me show you how I fertilize my prayer plants. For that I use this liquid seaweed extract and it's available on Amazon. The dose is 5 ml in 1 liter water and I apply once in 25 to 30 days. Keeping a tray on bottom so that the plant absorbs enough nutrients. Going to keep the plant same way for next 45 minutes. Please note that we are using extremely well drained soil. So in case if we pour the liquid fertilizer from the top, it's going to drain out very fast. So, feeding it from the bottom and let it absorb enough nutrients. For water, please keep the soil consistently moist. You may find yellow leaves in case there is lack of light. And you may find curly leaves in case the plant is cold or dry from constant warm air flow. The similar symptom is also visible in summer because of too high temperature. Both prayer plant and calathea are humid loving plants, so always sprinkle water on the leaves or mist them on regular basis. You love growing indoor plants, so why not to grow more plants like Phytonia? In case you want more info about how to grow Phytonia successfully, please check out my next video. So that's all about how to grow a healthy prayer plant and I hope you found this video useful. If you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening a bit. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Take care and enjoy.